Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the 24th day of May, 2022, Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. It is the 38th day of Easter. Um, coming to you from the uh, wooded area, again, that is alongside the uh, church over here. Um, and then right behind me, you see the pastor offices uh, right over there. Uh, back in Raleigh after a couple of days in Connecticut at my niece Gianna's uh, graduation from Fairfield University. Um, and so uh, missed a couple of days uh, with these reflections, but now I uh, kind of uh, hope we back on schedule again. Um, it is also graduation week here at the Franciscan School. Um, and so right now in the church itself, we're having our awards ceremony for our eighth graders. Uh, this morning, we had a special morning prayer uh, where four of them had been selected uh, to pray uh, some prayers that they personally composed. Uh, so quite beautiful. Uh, so uh, celebrating our eighth graders today and then tomorrow uh, we will have them uh, graduate um, and move on from the Franciscan School into their uh, futures as high school students um, and then onward and upward. Uh, so um, a great week of celebration today uh, for the Franciscan School and for uh, the Catholic community of St. Francis of Assisi. Um, in, in our first reading today, again, we're still in the Acts of the Apostles as we are throughout the entire Easter season. Uh, we hear of Paul having uh, split from Barnabas. Um, uh, that we don't, we don't necessarily cover that split. We don't get why that happens. They just wanted to think they could cover more room or else they are not getting along or something like that. Uh, but Paul picks up other companions along the way. And so I think that on Saturday, he picked up Timothy um, and then they went to Lydia, and, and, or no, uh, then they go to Lydia's house on, um, on, on Monday, yesterday, um, and then today he's with Silas um, and in Philippi. And the problem uh, there is that they're not getting along with the Jewish authorities or with the civil authorities uh, because of what they're preaching. And so uh, they are beaten and, and, and hurt and things like that. Um, and thrown into prison. Uh, this is one of the other great stories of a release from prison. Uh, before it was Peter, now it is Paul, um, and Paul and, si and Silas. And there is this, uh, so there is this great earthquake that happens while they are in prison, um, and the uh, doors open and the shackles that they are chained to uh, break from them, and uh, they could have run away and, and set free. And the guard who should have been guarding over them uh, would have had to have disgraced himself and would have killed himself because uh, it would have been such a disgrace to let prisoners go. And so he's about to do that. And Paul is the one who yells out, no, we're still here. We're, st we're still here. Um, and the guard is, again, moved by the fact uh, that they remained where they are. They did not seek freedom. And he begins to ask more about them and who they are and what they're about. And it's because of this conversation that he and then his household become uh, Christians. They are baptized. They offer hospitality to Paul and to Silas. And, um, and, and, and again, somebody is brought to the faith, uh, not necessarily because of teaching, uh, but because of responses and action. Um, that is very important, again, to remember in this Easter season, uh, that we are always the vehicles of conversion. We are the vehicles of evangelization in this world. God is not jumping down from heaven like a bolt out of the blue uh, to change the course of human history. He has done that already in Jesus of Nazareth. It is now up to us to show by our examples, not just by our words, but by our actions, what it, what it is and what we do that brings people to faith, that helps the kingdom of God be revealed more and more and it helps to move this world this good and wonderful world to its fulfillment in Christ it is our actions which is what this gospel what John's gospel is all about again the Last Supper discourses the Last Supper narratives still continuing um, and uh, John and Jesus says that he has to go he has to go back to the Father so that we can carry on as we have to carry on because God knows that we are capable of helping this world to move forward uh, to its fulfillment in Christ. Um, we, we, we are not lost, we are not abandoned, we are not uh, some kind of mistake or some kind of disgrace. Uh, we, 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 have not, we are not offending God left and right. We are not uh, uh, mucking up the works. We are not doing any of those kinds of things that so many times we ourselves, and especially our church, has done that, uh, has told us again and again and again, it is not true. The, uh, the, uh, the Son goes back to the Father, Jesus returns back to the Father, so the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, can inspire us, enlighten us, and fire us, and flame us, uh, to be able to be those people who can bring uh, the good news to those who need to hear it. Um, and again, foster the transformation, assist the transformation, enable the transformation that this world must undergo through the power of God, the power of Christ, uh, that speaks through us. It is our actions that allow us uh, to bring this kingdom forth. Um, and it is God working in us that enables those actions to happen in the first place. Easter reminds us of that always. And if we forget that, then basically we, we fall back and we have to start all over again. Easter season happens every year to hopefully remind us to move forward, knowing that it is in our actions and what it is that we do, and not just what we say only, that allows for the kingdom of God to flourish on the face of the earth. May the Lord, a blessed Easter, St. Francis and people of God, 
May the Lord continue to give you his peace.